this video will look at creating a UXF client list declarative action in the service operations workspace um, or any configurable workspace. So what I'm trying to achieve here is I want to have two buttons um, here in addition to the new. Uh, one button that says new test one and another button that says new test two. And when you click on new test one, it brings you to a new incident uh, with the short description filled out with uh, test one. Uh, likewise, test two is going to be the same thing, but uh, short description will be listed test two. So uh, this is sort of a stupid example, but uh, in the real world uh, where you might use this is if you have, um, I don't know about incidents, but uh, on another table where maybe you have two different views depending on the uh, information in the view and so you want to populate a field or two or several fields um, with a button up here so that it goes to the right view when you uh, when it opens up the new form um, the use case I had for this was um, I had a an application in the a custom table in the uh, classic view that had an interceptor and um, there isn't a, a sort of out-of-the-box, easy-to-do interceptor in, uh, in workspace. Um, so this was kind of a substitute. Fortunately, the interceptor only had a few items. So, you know, you can probably get two or three buttons up here before it starts getting uh, too crowded. If you have a, a large interceptor, uh, you have to find another solution, which uh, I'll just put this in as an aside. There is a solution in um, Service Operations Workspace for changes, uh, if you do a new, it does bring you to this uh, sort of interceptor page, which is, uh, well, you can't see it because it's in the URL, but it's create-change-request-page. So if you go look at that in UI Builder, um, you can sort of copy that functionality and create this uh, interceptor-like uh, functionality here. Uh, in a future video, I'm, I'm going to look at that. But for now, for today, what we, we're going to do a, a, a sort of simple uh, version of that, which is uh, just two buttons up here, new test one and new test two, which is going to open up a new record with uh, the short description populated. OK, so for this, we're going to be creating a list action. And we'll do a new one. Okay, we'll call this new test one and give it a name. This is a UXF client action and we're going to use the create, uh, create new record action payload. We're going to stick this just on the incident table. Okay, and we will save it. Okay, now I have to go to advanced view. Okay, and here is where we uh, have the action. So payload map. Um, so we want to do query. Now, Interestingly, there are two uh, queries in the payload map. That's because if you look at the client action, you look at the payload, there's the query here with the parameters, and then there's an additional data. There's also a query. So what I've done is uh, I think it's the first one, but uh, sometimes you have to uh, have a couple of tries before you get it right. So query is going to be short description equals that test one I'll save it okay so that should do it go over here Go to 
incidents. Okay, good. So we do see our new test one button. And there it is, a uh, short description test one. So to do the other one, uh, obviously you just take this one and just do the, the usual service now stuff for you. Modify, give it an insert and stay. Uh, now I did find last time I did this, in another instance, it did not appear right away. And I think I even had to do a, oh no, it appeared right away here. Okay, great. So we got a new test two. Fire that up and there we go, test two. So again, this is a stupid example because I uh, probably wouldn't ever want to do that with the short description, but uh, you might want to do something with the choice field, which uh, then triggers the view because the workspace view rules do take effect when you uh, populate these with that, uh, when you populate fields with the payload mapping. So there it is, a, a UXF client list declarative action, that's a mouthful, in a service operations workspace or any configurable workspace.